What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more solo leveling. Today we're doing episode three. I am very excited, but also very nervous after how last episode ended. Before we get into anything, I do have some questions over in the Discord. If you guys don't know, I have a Q&A section over there. You guys can ask me anything pertaining to any of the shows I'm reacting to, and I'll try to answer it in the next episode I react to. We got two over here on the Discord. First one comes from Layson, who asks, At the end of last episode, we see Sung or Jin Wu accepted to become a player. What do you think this title can provide, benefits or deficits included, and how will it impact the character for the next episodes? That's a great question. I don't know the definition of player or what it entails, especially because whereas normally like SAO and other things, we go into the mystical world, the mystical world kind of came to us. So I assume, but then also people awakened to unlock powers to be able to combat this. So I would ass a player, I'm hoping, the main difference between a player and a hunter is that especially with the title of the show that you're not limited to your rank and your power maybe it'll give him the benefit of being able to power up climb and scale maybe it'll also come with the the detriment of falling off at certain points maybe he has to work his way up like saitama from e all the way to s but you know maybe he i, I really don't know or can't assume especially because the amount of torture and ordeals you have to go through to even survive it was called like the test of the courage at the end there so i'm very curious but i am in so much of a blank and so much of it's so much of a mystery to me i'm so curious i really don't have an answer for that i'm hoping the big thing is that you're able to actually level up and not be locked into where you awakened great question though i hopefully we get that answer in this episode next question comes from merc who asks what are your thoughts on solo leveling so far and what is your favorite thing about it so far voice acting ost etc etc I'm really enjoying it. I've heard from a lot of other people who knew nothing about it like me that episode two is the one that really, really synced them in and hooked them. And now they're eagerly anticipating future episodes, which I must agree. I think the big thing that's drawing me in right now, because I've seen plenty of Isekai in my life or dungeon monster fantasy style shows. I love the aspect that our main character's weak. I, I'm always a fan of a main character working hard to be able to get to where they're at or sometimes talent or luck or whatever it may be. Um, but I love the mix of the two worlds as like in other isekais or genres like this that I've seen, whether it's Don Machi, ReZero, Slime, like they're always going into this world. And then we never really reference the old world that we came from or the political depth of it or anything like that. Whereas this one merges the two very well, like how they're using mana stones to power people's electronics and or like uh, his mother's medical necessities and how they're trying to be able to create clean energy for the future which i'm sure some sort of corruption is going to get into that like there's a very political aspect to this dungeon style typical isekai style show that i love the kind of merging of the two great question though merc thank you so much like i said check out that discord if you guys ever want to ask me something check out the social medias we are streaming this live on twitch right now all instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated Let's hop right into today's episode, solo leveling, episode three. Let's do it. All right, here we go. No, no beats miss right back where we left off. Is this the final swing we saw at the end of last episode? Yes, it is. You might get that chance. Congratulations on becoming a player. We're just waking up what seems like a hospital. He has his limbs still there. Yeah. I need a timeline. Yeah. Is it like a week later, a few days later? Was that all a figment of his imagination? Manager of the Hunters Association surveillance team. Three days. Mr. Song lost an arm. That is sad. I only knew him for two episodes, but I liked him. That makes a lot of sense after what happened. I also really like Juhi. Oh. Honestly, maybe retiring might be what's best for them. I hope they can get financial assistance and other means, but... White Tiger Guild... They found him not in the altar area. Yeah, 
そんじぬはんか。あらた。かくせいごのかくせいをしたんじゃありませんか。Got his first one to become an E-Rank Hunter, but now. I love how they visualize this, and it never changes. Oh. Oh, they're gonna test him. See where his mana place is at. If he's still E or. Season Shano Shogun Dori, a Sokoni Sokshi Rebel no Monster Gaitano Nara, or in a Tokatamanaku. Bro, I need to look up voice actors. I recognize this man. He's still gonna be E though. Yeah, he's too eager and too anticipating it. Now I'm way more curious. If it's not an official second awakening, like the hunters, more the players, he's even low for an E rank. That's crazy. Well, my boy is straight up in an Isekai now. Hey, Rimuru, chill out. You have unread messages. Oh, his sister. I really like his sister so far. You were a real one for staying back and sacrificing yourself. Absolutely. No, honey. We're doing this for you. You're staying in school. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, she was a gamer? I like her even more now. It seems to be neurally linked. Like, he just thinks about it and it happens. Strength training has arrived? Daily quest? That's her homie who was hating on Jin Woo last episode. Assist the development of the player. Failure to comply may result in penalty. Aw, oh, hell no. We're complying. The rewards have been delivered? Hey, man. You better start getting some push-ups going. Hey! I was right! Come on! You gotta hit your dailies, bro. You ever played Tarkov? You gotta get your dailies done. No, do not. Failure may result in penalty. And you have a timer for how long you can get them done in, bro. I, I swear to God, Jinwoo. Is that Ha-In? Whatever her name was? I always mispronounce names. I apologize. I can't tell if that's her. She looks similar, but... There's five guilds. Oh. See, it's that aspect of the world building that I would love to know more about. Dungeon breaks, the international world, more guilds, stuff like that. I need to see more S, S class. So a dungeon can really pop up out of nowhere and then just signify, you know, designated areas. You have to go around detours. Buddy, your timer is going to get up. Oh, you failed your daily. Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell nah. Is that a giant centipede, millipede, whatever the... Oh. Goal, survive for four hours? And it phys it's not like a mental thing. It physically teleported him there. That's me and Lethal Company trying to get away from those giant worms. You know what I'm saying? Literally that. So you could have done 100 push-ups, 100 squats type shit, or you can run away from a giant and desert monster. He's done half the time, though. Nine seconds left. Watch, when his timer comes out, he's just gonna teleport right back in bed. Yep. Oh, the sand even kind of came with him when they kicked up from his feet. Penalty quest, survival accomplished. I'd be yakking after throwing running for four hours. I bet you he's not gonna skip his dailies anymore. You did get a reward from it, though. Ooh, I am so intrigued now. I'm glad that makes her happy. 
we would not be here alive if it weren't for her. Oh, she's going to visit him in the hospital with some flowers, man. I like this girl, man. Yup, he's doing his dailies. He's questing. He's like Rock Lee after his incident, man. Okay, give me the deets. Oh, this is so much like a game. I love it. He gets a full recovery. And he uses it. Oh, I love that! When you're done training, it's like you're back to normal. I love this. No, not necessarily. You ever played Elden Ring? You gotta distribute them. Depending on what kind of build you want to go now. You can physically feel the strength. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm one of the mental patients. Sorry. Oh, he gets random loot boxes. It's like, I gotcha. Oh, and the way it opens is so sick. Dope design to key, I won't lie. I hope no matter what happens with everything and him, with his sister, I do hope his mom can get better. Eternal sleep disease? That's horseshit. So she's comatose and in eternal sleep, and we're just keeping her alive. Is that when he went through his first awakening? And he was weak for an E rank, but he is stronger than a normal civilian for sure. Oh, all this is going to change, man. My man's getting the fucking workouts in. My man's going to be different now. Damn, that makes me sad, man. All the, all the ones he's been doing has been going into strength. My man's going to be low-key different now. I would love a little bit of diversification, some dexterity, some intelligence, some agility. But he's, I respect it. Whatever my man decides, he knows better than I do. You have entered the instance dungeon. Because one of his things was, if it's too much for me, I can just leave, but... And it's only for him. Other people that are going up and down the station can leave and go as they please. What's a red gate? Normally the ones we see are blue. I love how his part or his uh personal upgrades, his level upgrades aren't instant. Like he's working for it, he's training at it, he's slowly building up his strength. Alright, same kind of monsters we would go before, and I like how it tells us them. He's got his little in-game notifications. Goblins, especially in high numbers, can be super dangerous. This choreography and animation is going crazy, though. I like how it's consistent one-shots. Like, it's not cutting too much. Taking new positions, re-attacking. He's constantly on the move. Come on, my boy. I got faith in you. That's one down. Ooh, right in the head top. Beautifully handled with the blade switch. Ooh! Cut that motherfucking goblin in two. Hell yeah. Fucking wolf time. Life is broken. That's not good. We're gonna have to... We got metal fucking jaws. Steel fang lichen. Once we get more money, we're going to have to get some better gear. Don't worry, man. Your nervousness will fade. Have faith in yourself like I do. Oh, you are. Understandable. Okay. It's all good. Good dodge. I love how he's also not just brazenly going. Like, he's thinking strategically and stuff like that. I love this shot. Oh, my God. With the spinning camera. Bro, that episode went by in five minutes.
I gotta wait a whole another seven days? This is horseshit. All right, that was a fantastic episode. I am being hooked in more and more the more I watch it. I'm, I love the res resolution to what happened in the little altar area, but also how it's unresolved, how it like fully disappeared. There's no evidence of it even being there, but he's got the notifications. He has the daily quest. He gets the daily rewards. He has penalties for failing. He gets his loot boxes and he gets his full recoveries and his ability point distribution. I'm very curious on what's going to happen with the B rank dungeon that uh, the S rank hunter, beautiful girl. I'm not going to mispronounce her name because I, I suck. I'll get these names down. I promise is going to be mentoring in. I want to see more of her and the S classes in general. I'm loving the slight world building I'm getting with the amount of guilds there are and how even though you're locked in at your level, you can still obviously improve your combat experience, your situational awareness, this, that, and the third. I am thoroughly enjoying these episodes. I won't even begin to lie to you. I just want more. That's my only, that's not even like a downside. I just wish I could fucking have a time traveling machine so I can go 24 weeks in the future and just watch all episodes of this because this would be a perfect binge level show. I won't lie, but holy smokes. My boy Jin Woo was getting that work in. Juhi came to visit him. He wasn't able to because he was too busy at focus on working out. And I get that. I really am enjoying her character. I know she's severely traumatized. Song's probably going to have to retire. I want to know more about these guilds. Uh, the, the White Tiger Guild was the one who came after the call for survivors has been there. I'm super, super, super into this right now. Like, it's not even funny. I already know my friends are going to love this episode, especially if you played any sort of RPG ability point distribution style game, any Souls game. You're going to be loving this. And I would, damn, this is so good. Stopping fighting the Steel Fang Lycan. I know it's going to go crazy. I cannot wait. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and this reaction. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell somebody you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.